Welcome back to the channel folks, today I'm launching a new series of videos to help people who are new to video and video editing with some different tips and tricks that I can kind of pass on that I've learned over the last couple of years of shooting and editing video for different businesses or individuals. So let's get into today's video. So these tutorials that I'm going to be recording are going to be really short, really sharp, to the point to make it really easy for people who are learning video and video editing to get better and improve your skills. And as you've seen from the title of this video, I'm going to show you how to resize your finished project so you can post to Instagram. So let's jump onto the laptop. I've got a clip ready as an example, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this example clip is from a recent shoot that I've done with a local football coach, Coach Corey. So as you can see, this sizing would be perfect for YouTube. And as you play the clip through, it's a nice wide frame. You can see the full action taking place. But for Instagram, you want to resize that. And there's a couple of different ways or different sizes that you can use. So if we take this back to the start. So if you for the first example is a one by one square grid. So if you go up in Premiere Pro to sequence and then sequence settings, it brings up this page here. And all you have to do is change the figures in this section here. So for example, if you wanted the one by one square, if you change that to 1080 and go down here to OK and OK again, you can see it's changed to a nice square format, which fills the um, page really well on Instagram. So as you play that through, you can check the position and the scale of the clip to make sure you're happy with it. As you can see there, that's worked quite well. You can see the full range of action going on in the clip and it works really well. So that is one way to do it. You can do a one by one grid, nice square frame, looks really good. If you go into sequence settings again, you can do a more vertical sizing. So for that one, you change this first number to 864, which is a four by five grid size. So as you can see there, it's more of a portrait vertical framing, which again looks really good on Instagram. So again, it's a matter of playing the clip through, making sure that you're happy with the clip and the, the position and the scale of it, and then away you go. So because of the way that I've recorded that clip, I've kept the action in the center of the frame, so I knew that just by resizing it a little bit, I wasn't gonna affect too much of the clip, and I wouldn't have to really change the position much, but on other clips, you might have to change it. So for example, you might want that to be a little bit more over, so you can change that by moving it over to the left or to the right, which how, whichever way you prefer. So as you play the clip through, you can see a little bit more of the action. Again, down to personal preference, but I think the way that I had it originally, it works really well in both the one by one square or the four by five. So a different size that you can use is for Instagram stories. So again, if you go into sequence settings, change that first number to 900 and that second one to 1600. Click yes, okay and okay. So here you can see we're gonna to have to do some scale adjustments. So we've gone really vertical, really narrow. So we're gonna to have to change that to 150. And as you can see, that's filled the frame really nice. So when you play this through, you can see here still looks okay but with a bit of a tweak we can maybe change the position just a little bit so again go over to the effects control panel and let's just move that over a little bit to the left and let's see how that looks played through much better so yeah you can see a bit more of the action you don't lose sight of the ball or Corey striking it and it looks really good there so there's three options for resizing your videos to post to Instagram. You've either got the one by one square, the four by five vertical, or for Instagram stories, that thinner nine by 16 frame and size. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what sub other subjects you'd like me to cover regarding photo or video that I can get into the shorter format tutorial, just to make it really easy to digest and really easy to take it into your own projects moving forward. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. A couple of videos ago, my RF1535 review has gone nuts. It's hit over a thousand views, which is awesome. So let's try and keep that momentum going. I'll see you in the next one.